This week I'm driving the 2022 Kia Stinger GT Elite. For 2022, the Stinger GT has received a small refresh. As you can see, we've got the new logo, the new badge in the front and also in the back. Small changes to the headlights, new wheels, and if we step in the back, we've got some new tail lights and some new exhaust tips. They're bigger. The actual exhaust is not bigger, but the tips are bigger. These are the few changes for 2022. Trunk-wise, as you can see, the Stinger has got a hatch. Uh, so we've got a uh, larger space to enter bigger object into your trunk. So that's a big plus for the Stinger. You don't have that restricted, you know, entrance to put stuff inside of your trunk. And also you can keep that smooth shape of a four door coupe. So that's a big plus for the Stinger. There's not a lot of cars on the market with an hatchback with four doors. Under the hood, we can find a V6 3.3 liter twin turbo. Good for 368 horsepower and 376 foot-pounds of torque. This engine is Matra 8-speed transmission. So three horsepower more for the 2022 models. We're gonna go on the road, see if it makes a difference having three horsepower more. All right, on the road with the Kia Singer GT. Uh, we've got some uh, little bit of snow last night here in Canada. We got about a few inches. Uh, so uh, this uh, <laughs> road test this week is turning into a winter uh, test. Uh, you know, first time I'm driving, uh, you know, the uh, Stinger GT in some serious snow, I could say. Uh, the all-wheel drive works pretty well. Uh, it's not as advanced as a Quattro or something like you'll find on a Subaru, like the symmetric uh, system. Uh, but it works pretty well, you know, it's uh, easily a car you can use, uh, you know, uh, all year round, uh, especially here for our condition and Canada. But, you know, uh, this thing here is a, it's a pretty fun car to drive, you know, especially for the price. It's not super expensive. Uh, you get pretty much all the, 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 you know, the feature you'll find inside of a BMW Audi, but for a cheaper price. Uh, you've got a pretty sharp handling, you know, it handles pretty well. The steering wheel is pretty direct, you know, and precise. Uh, you've got decent amount of power. Uh, acceleration wise, you can do the zero to 100 kilometers in about 4.7 seconds. And the quarter mile under 13 seconds, about 12.9. It's pretty decent, you know, you know, uh, it's pretty quick also for this type of car. Uh, if we step inside of this Kia GT, it's, it's, it's also nice, you know, we've got the uh, Elite uh, Suede uh, package this week. So we've got that nice finish with some red stitching, uh, nice seats also all in suede. Uh, those seats are pretty, you know, uh, tight, you know, uh, if you're a big guy like me, uh, it might, uh, you know, uh, affect your comfort a little bit. But I wish, you know, uh, they will be a little bit more comfortable when you put it in comfort mode. But otherwise, you know, decent amount of space in the back. Uh, you can sit two. Uh, there's a step in the metal, so three might be not the best ideal situation, I could say. Uh, but decent amount of space. Otherwise, you know, inside it's the same as the 2021, uh, you know, models. The screen, you've got Apple CarPlay, uh, Android Auto. Uh, all the controls are really easy to use. Uh, you've got uh, a place to recharge your phone wirelessly. You've got some buttons for your heated and cool seats uh, for your steering wheel. You've got also one for your camera. That's really practical. Everything is easy to use. I really like that, you know. Uh, a lot of times when we talk about the Kia Stinger GT, we compare uh, this car to some luxury brands like Audi, BMWs and others. And uh, that's the big difference between the luxury brand and the normal brand, I could say. Nothing is really complicated here, easy to use. You don't have that crazy mouse or crazy knob, super complicated to use. It's a Kia product, everything is easy. Uh, you've got your uh, gear changer on the steering wheel if you want to change your gears. Uh, the, the transmission works pretty well. Uh, once again, it's not a DSG or something like that, but you know, you can have some fun with it. 
So Enduro Wise, you know, really sharp. You know, this week I was doing some, uh, you know, quiz and a lot of people thought I was driving an AMG because of the suede and also those air vents. They're, they're really similar to AMG products. So, you know, kudos for Kia. Fuel economy wise this week, I was averaging around 12 liters per 100 kilometers. It's winter time here, so I'm using a little bit more fuel than I'm supposed to. Maybe you can expect around 10 to 11 uh, liters per 100 kilometers. Uh, you know, if we're considering the power of this engine with the fuel economy, the all-wheel drive and all that, the fuel consumption, it's okay, it's normal. Uh, you know, it's not good, it's not terrible, it's just right there. Now, if we're looking at the price, the model I'm driving this week, it's good for $55,495 Canadian. Uh, this one is uh, pretty well equipped, top of the line, uh, elite with the suede and all that. But the thing is, you know, price-wise, yes, it can be a bargain if you compare it to an Audi, uh, a Mercedes-Benz and all that. But it's still a Kia, and a lot of people don't like that badge, you know. Uh, if you close your eyes, you're driving the Stinger, it's just awesome. But some people just don't like that brand, and, you know, they're not willing to pay that price for that brand. That's the feedback I had on my TikTok account this week. I think most, you know, luxury sedan of the same size, with the same equipment, with the performance, yes, the Kia Stinger is cheaper, but... the from my point of view, the direct competition for this car is the Genesis G70 I drove earlier uh, this year. Uh, here in Canada, you know, we don't have this base uh, Kia Stinger with the 2.0-liter, uh, with the rear-wheel drive. They're all V6 B-turbo with the all-wheel drive. So uh, the starting price is pretty expensive and it's really close to the Genesis uh, G70. So, you know, uh, for the same kind of car, you know, uh, you're, you're able to get the uh, G70 for the same price as this one and a fully loaded one for around 59. <laughs> for my point of view, you know, if you spend a little bit more money, uh, if you like that driving dynamics, you like Kia kind of products, you know, uh, for me, the Genesis products, it's way better looking uh, inside and out. Uh, you've got the same kind of driving, uh, you know, uh, for me, especially here in Canada, there's, there, there should be a bigger gap of price between the Stinger GT and the G70. And I think that's why, you know, a lot of people are turning more for the G70 than the Stinger. So overall, you know, an awesome car to drive. Uh, every time I drive the, the, the Kia Stinger GT, I think this is the pride and joy of the Kia brand. Uh, you know, you can see they put a lot of effort uh, behind this car, building this car, the driving dynamics. You, you can feel, you know, some uh, people from other brands like BMW and all that uh, came to Kia to work on this and you can feel it behind the wheel but once again you know for the price especially here in canada if we forget in the us you've got that base one we will drive with the small engine for the same price or maybe four or five thousand more i would go with the genesis g70 any day and that's why i think you know if uh, Kia and Genesis doesn't change their strategy, especially here in Canada, depending all the, the Kia Stinger is going to work in the US, the Kia Stinger might disappear, you know, because, you know, from my point of view, it makes no sense choosing the Stinger GT over the Genesis G70. Uh, you've got that luxury brand, luxury feature, luxury interior. The look is way better from my point of view. The only big difference you've got between the Stinger and the G70, it's the, uh, you know, the, the trunk. You've got a real trunk with the G70. This one is a hatch. Uh, that's the main difference. But overall, for the same price, I would choose the Genesis G70 over the Stinger GT any day, any time. So let me know in the comments, uh, which one uh, do you prefer? The Kia Stinger GT or the Genesis G70? Let me know your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and we're gonna see each other on our next review.